I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question on vectors. The question here is how many unit vectors are perpendicular to given vector in two space? Let the given vector be v equals to 3, 4. You have four choices. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now the idea of this video is two folds. One, to quickly answer the question and second, to understand the concept because that works perfect with all my viewers. Now, the key word here is unit vector, right? If this was not unit vector, we can have infinite vectors perpendicular to any vector in R2 or 2 space. Now, since we're talking about just the unit vectors, the answer is 2. Now, let us try to understand why, right? So, that is, that may take a bit longer. Now, here, this is the Cartesian plane, the R2 or, or the 2 space representing this plane of my paper. Let's take the vector V, 3, 4. 3, 4 means 1, 2, 3 along the x-axis and along the y-axis you move 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the vector 3, 4. Perfect. Any vector which is perpendicular to this should be like what? Okay. So let me write down that vector also. That vector will be kind of like this or like that. These are two choices, right? So, so we could say that the vector which is perpendicular to this, maybe u, will be, uh, we have to swap this, so, and change one of the signs. So, it could be minus 4, 3, or, uh, let's say w, which could be 4, minus 3. Now, mind, these are not unit vectors, okay? Why they are not unit vectors? Okay. This vector which we are talking about is, is V, right? So what is the magnitude of V? So we have vector V. Let's find the magnitude of V. It's 3, 4. Magnitude is 3 square plus 4 square square root, which is 9 plus 16 square root. And that is square root of 25. And as you know, it is 5, right? So this vector has a magnitude of 5. So the unit vector in this direction will actually be one-fifth of this, correct? So it will be one-fifth. So let me write this as a unit vector. So it is one-fifth of three, four. You get it. Correct. So the vectors which we are talking about, they are also not unit vector. They have the same magnitude of five, right? Let me represent these vectors here on R2 or 2 space. Minus 4, 3. Minus 4, 3 will be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, right? So, so if I join this vector kind of like this, that becomes minus 4, 3, right? So let me use a highlighter. Okay, so this vector is minus 4, 3. And this vector is perpendicular to the given vector. However, it is not a unit vector. The other vector could be 4, 3, right? So 4 and then 1, 2, 3. So you'll find that that vector is kind of like this. So these are two vectors which are perpendicular. Well, any scalar multiple of these will also be perpendicular. However, there are only two vectors whose length is one fifth of this, which will be kind of here, right? So, so the unit vector will be this or that. So these are the two unit vectors. Do you see that? So the unit vectors could be, let me write down here, unit vector for u will be one fifth of minus four three or w, which will be one fifth of four minus three, right? So these are the two unit vectors which are perpendicular to given vector, right? What you can also do is check. How will you check? Check with dot product.
what you'll find is that three full that is dot product of we are saying unit vector v dot you can take the whole vector also right doesn't matter dot product of this will be equals to zero so you can check that the dot product of minus four three is how much minus four times three is minus 12 4 times 3 is plus 12 so when you add them you get 0 same result you'll get with w also you're getting my point right so these vectors are perpendicular if I divide their magnitude by the magnitude of the vector I get the unit vector right which is here right there so these are the two unit vectors which are perpendicular to the given vector so remember one thing that in two space there can be only two unit vectors perpendicular to a given vector now let me extend this question if I extend this to three space then what happens they'll be infinite because these vectors could be pointing out of the paper also that is R3 so in three space the answer would change to C infinite but in two space the answer is 2 I'm Adil Kumar and I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.